Yo, what's up guys how you doing welcome back to the channel today we'll be talking about a movie you guys might have missed bullet train um when this movie came out i didn't want to watch it as i've said in my previous video i'm a brad pitt hater but somehow i finally <laughs> ended up watching it on amazon prime um it's, it's quite a phenomenal movie. It's quite a phenomenal experience that I had watching it that I'm making this review. This is something that I'll say if you have time, if you have, you know, you're looking for something to entertain you on a long trip on a flight, I'll suggest you watch. It's a, it's a different type of movie. It's something that takes you to a different space and you have to forget a lot of the quickiness. I do understand we live in a time whereby we're over the, overly critical of the things that we watch, but give this a chance and you might as well eat. So for the plot of Bullet Train, Yuchi Kimura boards a bullet train in Tokyo in search of his son, Wataru's attacker, guided by his handler, Maria Biro. Operative Ladybug is assigned to retrieve a briefcase full of cash from the same train, replacing a sick co-worker cover. Ladybug is reluctant as his recent string of bad luck during his jobs causes an accident or deaths. Also on the train are two English assassin brothers called named Lemon and Tangerine who just rescued a man, the son from kidnappers and are taking him and the briefcase to his father, a Russian-born Yakuza boss called the White Death. During the trip, the son is poisoned. Ladybug discreetly steals the briefcase, but on his way off the train, he is attacked by another assassin, the wolf. Having seen Ladybug at his wedding, where the wedding party was poisoned, the wolf mistakenly believes Ladybug to be the one of their killers. Ladybug confusedly fights off, fights the wolf who accidentally kills himself. Yuichi finds the person who attacked Wataru, a young woman caught named the prince, but she overpowers him. She explains that she pushed Wataru off a roof to lure Yuichi to the bullet train as part of a plan to have him kill the white death. To ensure his cooperation, she has a henchman holding Wataru hostage in the hospital. Ladybug recognizes Lemon as the owner of the briefcase and offers to return it in exchange for being allowed to disembark the train. Lemon suspects that Ladybug killed the son, leading to the fight. Lemon is knocked unconscious after realizing Ladybug is innocent. The prince finds the briefcase, booty traps it with explosives and rigs Yuichi's gun to explode backward if fired. Ladybug encounters Tangerine and kicks him off the bullet train after another scuffle, but Tangerine climbs back aboard. Suspicious, Lemon shoots Yuichi, but collapses after drinking from a water bottle Ladybug had previously spiked with a sedative. The prince shoots Lemon and conceals him and Yuichi in a bathroom. Ladybug encounters yet another assassin, the Hornet, the one who poisoned the wolf's wedding party at the sun after a struggle. Well, Ladybug kills the Hornet with her own venom. Tangerine runs into the prince and notices one of Lemon's train stickers on her, realizing that she shot Lemon. Ladybug interacts with them and Tangerine is killed, killed and he can shoot the prince. At the next stop, Yuji's father, the elder, boards the bullet train. He recognizes the prince and informs her that Wataru is safe as, she, as the henchman has been killed by his guard. After she flees, the elder tells Ladybug he will remain to confront the white death who killed his wife while taking over the Yakuza. Finding Yuji and Lemon still alive, the four prepare to face the white death. Together at Kyoto, Ladybug gives the White Death the briefcase. The prince, revealed to be the White Death's estranged daughter, fails to guard him into shooting her with a rigged gun. The White Death explains that everyone on the bullet train was linked to the death of his wife. He hired them, hoping they would kill each other, not knowing cover was replaced. The White Death's henchman opened the briefcase, which explodes, knocking Ladybug and the White Death back into the bullet train. The White Death's remaining henchman board and battled the assassins while the elder with the help from Yuichi, duels the White Death. Lemon and Ladybug defeat the White Death's henchmen while also trying to use the train's emergency brakes. Lemon falls off the train into the river and Ladybug deploys the emergency brakes. But the train has not decelerated enough and it careens off the rails into downtown Kyoto. Emerging from the wreck, the White Death tries to shoot Ladybug, but the rigged gun explodes in, the, in his face. The prince threatens Ladybug, Yuichi and the order with a machine gun only to be run over by a passing fruit truck. Maria arrives to retrieve Ladybug while Japanese authorities begin to clean up the damage caused by the train crash. In a mean credited scene, it's revealed that Lemon survived this fall into the river, stole the food truck, and killed the prince with it. So if you missed out on this movie in the cinema, you missed out real big. I didn't watch it, so I'm part of <laughs> I also missed out. I do believe this is the type of thing that you want to experience in 3D, the way that it was just shot. Um, it's a beautiful movie. It's a the the setup, like being on that train, the colors that they used in the movie. For me, a phenomenal, you know, the experience is phenomenal. It's a, it's a, it's a movie that almost feels stupid to talk about or to think about, but the experience is just something different where it has a lot of questions that you're asking, but it's something that you can tell that they had fun creating the way Brad, the way Brad Pitt acts and, you know, 
relates to his fellow co-actors is amazing. He carries the entire movie through it because you're entrenched into this character's arc. You know how he starts from day one. I know there's a lot of things where you're like watching and you're like, why did we do that? From a critical perspective, this is a movie that critics can destroy. But I think from just being a fan of movies and somebody who enjoys a movie, this is something that you can enjoy. I truly enjoyed it. Um, the 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 main things for me was I really didn't like how you know they killed Tangerine and left Lemon alive. You know, I felt like if there was a way they could have kept the brothers alive and continued their streak, it would have been beautiful. But usually in movies, somebody has to die, especially a beloved character. In this movie, the main thing that I recommend it for people is it's a movie that offers you an action, but it's an action that you don't have to take seriously. I don't know if there's such a thing as action comedy, but this is what it feels like. The way Brad Pitt interacts with his co-cast is like, wow, <laughs> what are we watching? And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal story. From a cinematographic from a cinematography perspective, I feel like they really did well. The camera moved when it needed to move. The camera was stationary when it needed to be stationary. And the lighting was well balanced. Like it wasn't overpowering in terms of what you're watching. There's a lot of plot holes where you go, man, how did you break the train? But either way, I don't think it's a type of movie where you watch for the technical aspects of it. It's a movie you watch to escape and have fun. I feel like it's a good entertaining movie. This movie reminds me of back in the day when you're watching movies such as, you know, the movies that Steven Seagal was in or the Van Damme movies where you're just watching a movie where it's all unrealistic. You don't have to believe anything that's happening. You can forgive all the mistakes and just enjoy the show. One of my issues with the movie, obviously, will be the white death. You know, they built him up to be this dangerous, dangerous man. And then when he shows up, for me, he just appeared to be weak and and and, and not someone to be taken seriously. His plan had flaws. There was a lot of, you know, mishaps to that. But at the end of the day, it's a good experience for those two hours that you spend watching it. You will not regret it. Um, one of my challenges, I guess, as well, was just like, you know, the English fellas were fun, but, you know, at a certain point, you're just like, okay, at what point do we give them context? And at what point do we make their conversations make sense? A lot of things were just there, you know, how Ladybugs finds a briefcase. He's like, come on, give him a little bit of a challenge. And then I do understand having the character of the prince in there, but while she really like took her performances to the next level, working with what she had, you know, those are characters that could have had more depth to them and, and they could have had more thought to them. But you can only do so much in a two hour, 30 minute movie. I feel like they really did a good job. And this is a movie that I recommend you watch. I don't recommend you watch it to learn how to make a movie, but I recommend you watch it to escape and just to have a good time with your friends and family compared to some of the movies we talked about. I know when I made the reviews for Glass Onion, a lot of you were not happy with me, but I would suggest watching Bullet Train over watching Glass Onion. With that said, let me know what you thought of Bullet Train in the comment section. Is this a movie that you watched? Will you watch? And what, what other similar movies like that would you like me to be checking out? With that said, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.